Hi, I'm Rob from Snow Tracks, and this is the new Burton name dropper. I say new because it has changed a lot from previous seasons, and it's really key to remember that because how this rides is way more what the name dropper should ride like. It's got a new shape, it's pure pop camber. So we've got camber in the middle of the board into flat sections and then rocket. So it gives it that nice powerful feel that a camber shape will deliver, but you still get a lot of the playfulness that you had before. Um, so it really kind of suits the level of tech that this board has, and it has a lot of tech, so we'll cover that now. Key thing to notice straight away is we have right foot, left foot. This is a board that is a twin shape, but a lot of the tech is geared towards a freestyle start, so based off a 15 degree angle on both feet. Um, so we actually have fillet flex that is off axis. So ultimately what we've got is different thicknesses of the board, which when it's thin, that's nice and flexible, easy to flex, um, but where it's thicker is more powerful. But ultimately underneath the rise pads, that's where you're sat in a slightly chunky part of the board so you can deliver the power, especially that the squeeze box is done off axis as well. So it all links together, gearing towards a really powerful freestyle ride, but with the playfulness that freestyle riders want. So the pads underneath the bindings offer really, really good dampening, as well as just elevating you into like that flexible position. Um, the tip and tail shape what we're looking at here is nice wide points up the length of the board so you can deliver the power into the spins but you've got a nice light tip and tail so when you do rotate the board just swings really nice and nice and fast. I don't spend a lot of time in the park but this is a really confident inspiring board that even somebody that doesn't spend a lot of time will start to develop their tricks a lot people that spent a lot more time and are well honed will get on this straight away and find that this is going to deliver everything that they want. Um, so quick in spins, nice and nice and reliable, nice slightly wider platform for underneath like underneath the binding so when you are on rails it feels secure. Um, big surprise is actually when you take it out of the park um, because it's got that new pure pop camber shape it doesn't wash out into the turn as much as the old one did so it becomes a more versatile board, but it hasn't lost any of its freestyle characteristics. If anything, it's just up the game on that front. 